But once again, while we're waiting for the federal government to act, we see others coming forward. We've seen private companies come forward in an amazing way, and we're also seeing our colleagues from around the country in public life come forward. And this is a beautiful story. A guy I've gotten to know, he's part of the leadership of the U.S. Conference of Mayors, so I've worked with him on the leadership body of the Conference of Mayors for years now, and really like him and really respect him, Mayor Jim Brainerd of Carmel, Indiana. Uh, this man has been mayor for a long time in Carmel, Indiana. Uh, he's someone I respect greatly for what he's achieved. I've been to his city. He's done amazing things there. In the spirit of bipartisanship, I will let you know that he is a Republican and someone who, uh, as we talk together, our partisan differences melt away all the time. He's someone that I just respect as a, a good public servant who cares about people. Well, he made the great decision to make sure that his city would help New York City. And we've seen that before. We saw that the governor of Oregon, Kate Brown, the governor of California, Gavin Newsom, helped make sure that more ventilators would be available for New York. Well, now, Carmel, Indiana steps up and they're sending us some of the components that will be needed to provide 50,000 coronavirus tests to New Yorkers. That'll be coming over the next few weeks. We're going to need other components to make it work. We talked about this yesterday. I've used the analogy of making a cup of coffee with cream and sugar. That We're going to need all the different pieces. But what Jim is sending us is going to help us immensely. And with the other pieces in place, we'll be able to reach 50,000 New Yorkers. So Jim and everyone in Carmel, I want to thank you. Uh, it is wonderful to see the support from the heartland of our country. Uh, you're doing something really important for New York City. We're all feeling it, especially at this holiday season. We are so appreciative for your wonderful, kind gesture, and it's going to help save lives here in New York City. So God bless you all.